Up next, I want to share with you a new television show trailer that we're going to launch. The Butterfly was inspired by the doctors and professionals that I met right here on American Woman Television. In this trailer, you will meet Anne Hansen. Anne's son, Todd, has Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. He was only supposed to live into his teens, but he is still very much alive. Anne has been super mom to Todd, never ever doing anything for herself. In the last 38 years, she's lost her house, she's lost her marriage, and she's lost herself. But the Butterfly Foundation was able to help her get it all back. When he was in preschool, we started testing to see why his motor skills weren't where they should be. Things were difficult. He could yeah. do it, but it was strained. It was just a horrible shock. There's no medication, there's no cure. Duchenne's is a form. There's many muscle diseases. Wow. Duchenne's is the top of the list, that's the worst one. The muscles are eaten. And first, well for Todd at least, first it was the leg. So walking was the first thing that disappeared. They told us he would be, late teens would be tops for his life and he's 37, so. How is that as a mom to get that sort of a diagnosis to say your son that you love with all of your heart's gonna die? It's not. It just crushes you. You do anything to trade. I had to learn truly what one day at a time really means for us. And what are your hopes for Todd? What are your dreams for him? that there could be a cure and that his, and the muscle tissue could be rebuilt. I know that you had to go through a bankruptcy, mm -hmm. but you still had Todd and you still mm -hmm. had Tammy. I was forced into that. I lost everything, but I didn't because I still had my family and my friends that stood by me. You can lose everything material, but if you don't lose your family and your friends, you haven't lost much because when it's all said and done, that stuff goes in boxes. There isn't a me without Todd in my life. So I don't go there, it's too hard. What do you attribute your long life to? You were not supposed to live past 16. The care of your family, your dad, your sister, your mom. I am so excited to take care of her. She is a sweetheart of a lady. And, and, and she deserves this. She, she absolutely deserves to have something good happen in her life. Hi, Ann. I'm Dr. Smith. How are you doing today? Fine. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Well, good. What I'm going to have you do is go ahead and just look in the mirror and let me know exactly um, what seems to bother you, what you notice when you look in the mirror in the morning. Okay. The crow's feet, the wrinkles here, and one of the eyelids is beginning to not be level with the other okay. one. Right in here, and then of course around here, and this issue. I've been blessed. Uh, the Lord has been absolutely wonderful to me. And I think it's my responsibility to give something back. I, I think that I have, I have that calling. I don't like my brown teeth, they just, they're stained. I still laugh and smile, but it's protected, guarded, and um, well, just not show my teeth any more than I have to. It's my duty, uh, basically. Uh, we all take things for granted, and it's nice to be helpful to, to someone who really is in need. Even changing the color alone would be a great thing, but we're gonna change the shape and make them certainly a lot more attractive, and I think her self-confidence will be immediate. It's unbelievable. It's so generous. It's just like everybody else you've put in my life. They're wonder. He's wonderful. I think the thing I admire about her most is her courage, and her and her the fact that she's been such a such an incredibly strong mother to deal with uh, her son in such a dignified way. He's not a burden. He's not a problem, and she's not a martyr. On a parent's part, if a child has a, a disorder of some kind, the parent sometimes feels guilty. Oh, he didn't feel guilty. He made it real clear it was me. No. And I am the carrier. I did do it. You are the carrier of the, the genetic, uh, the, the gene that... Mm -hmm. and, and what about anger? Was he blaming you? Do you think he, he was... He did at first, yeah. Outwardly or...? 
Well, it came from you. Mm -hmm. It just got so bad that he was pulling away. I thought, I'd rather do it by myself than live like this. Mm -hmm. And he was quite willing to leave. Do you remember, was there a, a sense of loss after, after how long had you been married? 25 years. And married 25 years, even though you were willing to have him go and he was willing to go? Was there a sense of loss or was it more relief? It was relief. No, I didn't cry over it. You didn't? And you don't and never have felt a need to grieve about that loss? Mm -mm. I didn't have I didn't have space. Yes. To yes. To worry about so what he doesn't want us. Okay. So what filled that space? Taking care of Todd. She's taken some time and now she's ready and she's and she's having fun with it. And that's a huge step forward. And it's something Todd wants and it's something that is good for Todd. Next hand. Good. And out, elbows are wider, and exhale. Okay, now I'm going to change it. We're just going to go to knee height. You're going to inhale for five. Great, great, great. Draw your belly button, come up in the tight. And then open your eyes and circle down. I really wanted her to change the way that she was taking care of herself. And really, because she didn't ever put herself on the list, she wasn't really loving herself and taking care of her body because Todd was coming first. So I think it was a little deeper for me that we were looking at Look, uh, you know, she needed to learn to listen to her own body, to eat better, to really take some time out for her, to actually plan a workout that was all about her, that was her time for herself, um, to be conscious of all those things, and really make working out and being having a healthy lifestyle a part of her life. I've always been passionate about really helping people to be able to go back to their true selves, be energetic, and be just have a vitality with life. And when I was first approached about the Butterfly Foundation, that is it by definition. I'm having trouble getting my thyroid regulated. And so far, it hasn't been pinpointed what the problem is. And it's just getting the best of me. I was very concerned about the prediabetes because this is something that attacks a large amount of our population. And honestly, Nancy, once it's there, it's a hard one to get rid of. Um, not only that, we had some heart disease. We had some vitamin deficiencies that were on the lower end of range, which can lead to osteoporosis in women. And we also had some hormone imbalances. So we really took a look at everything and put together a plan of action. The new and handsome. I'm blessed that God let me be your mom. My kids are my world. And Todd is the one that got stuck living with me. <laughs> I will just say, I'm the one that walks. But he carries me. And I want to thank all of you for being here to share this wonderful evening with me. This has been the journey of a lifetime. If you would like to nominate someone for a makeover on The Butterfly or you want to donate to The Butterfly, just go to our website, abutterflyfoundation.com.